live directly there that are being impacted, homeowners. This is their home. Um, and I, I'm, I'm trying to speak for a few. They just couldn't even show up. They didn't necessarily like the way this happened and took place. My understanding is I did speak firsthand with Lloyd. I don't know if any of you guys know Lloyd. And uh, he just, he had a nice call with me. And he felt like he didn't like the way the actual purchase took place. Nothing with the foundation and the cause for this matter. It was more so the foundation that purchased the property. So um, there was a private deed restriction and uh, that was known and that matter wasn't even considered prior to completing the sale, reaching out to the church or seeing if this is something that can be you know, re removed, um, which my understanding placed the church in an uncomfortable position. So when I spoke with Lloyd, I said, well, this is a good cause. We're all on the same page about that. And yeah, it is. However, um, you know, uh, there's like four or five residents right there that this is like their front lawn, their home, right? So we don't know exactly how this is going to work. And this is an actual business. It's going to have a lot of movement. So a few, few of the residents were questioning that, you know, the uh, 147 North Garden Street property that just closed on the 5th of this month, sold for less already had the proper zoning, was closer to social services, had more parking. It was the perfect property. I mean, I've been doing real estate for 21 years. I would have like targeted that property because it would have been perfect. No, we wouldn't even have the need for this meeting. Um, so it just brings me back to, I think the lady that just spoke has a big heart and her cause is, is, is great and I almost wish I didn't live across the street from this to just argue one thing. Um, there are some residents there that enjoy the peaceful, calm, residential living. And with that being said, we don't really know how this is going to pan out and how much traffic and movement. We have a school already there and, and we love that. We love that. But there's, there's, you know, there's a line, you know, we got the school uh, officer Mike, he's there all the time. There's, there's, there's a lot, lot going on there for us already. And so, but there's homes that have been there for a long time. And I knew Patsy, Patsy Little, you know, that was her home. And, uh, you know, um, we just never anticipated this was gonna happen. I don't feel like the buyer considered any of the residents homeowners that this is their home knowing what the picture was if that was the goal from the beginning which is my understanding um, I don't think they necessarily consider those those residents I, I, I see Heather went with a lot of work here and you have a difficult job might I add um, you know to, to show and outline all the different businesses and things that are here but we have directly across from this we have some, you know, people, myself, and the Rayburns, Clarks, Brett Boyd, um, just to name a few, like directly across from this. And we're just, we're a little nervous that this is our home. Yes, I have a four-year-old son. I, 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 I may adopt a child one day. I'm all about the cause. I just don't know how it's gonna work. And so I did hear a few times that I think it was Neil, that he was gonna make sure things would go well, if there was any issues. But in a very respectful way, I, I do believe you would you do that, but when I had the conversation with Lloyd, he felt like he was kind of, he, didn't, he wasn't given that, that courtesy, you know? So yeah, at the same time, um, we wanna have that good faith in you, but it got off to a bad start. If that's a fair, if that's a fair way to put it, it's not a personal thing. It's um, heck. I, I hope we can put more of these out here. We need it. I just, I just, ha I just feel like I have to talk, you know, for for my home and, and for some of the people's homes that are being affected. And so this is a, a thing that, uh, you know, real quick. I'll try to be real quick about this part. Is there was a zoning aspect to this. And um, 
That's why we need all these votes and all this consideration. It's gonna be a change in zoning. And when I purchased my home years ago and, and when all of us you know, came into that little area, we knew it as our neighbor directly across. It was a single family home. That we all live there like that. It's a home. This is gonna be a little more than that. And then it is a home, it is a home, it is a home, and it's gonna be a home for the kids. Now, the one thing is, is that it's temporary, right? So the, the, the movement, we don't know how it's gonna be. Um, like it's not a permanent home for kids, it's gonna be, am I getting that right? It's gonna be a lot, like a couple of days, it could be, and then another thing can happen. It is a home. It is, it is a home, right. So it's a facility, though. It's a home. I, I guess my question would be, yeah. we've heard that they can't have more than five children okay. without an alteration in the what would be the difference in a minivan with five kids that live there that belong between a man and woman? What would be the difference in a minivan? With Pull it in the driveway with five kids that go to school every day, go to different places around the county, and there's a mother and a father. There's no more people going to be in that residence than a family of five. Okay, so, so we're going to have social workers there, or no? Pretty much one. Okay. I mean, this is good. I want to hear. I want to learn. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to work through. Sure. How? What they're proposing is any different than a man and wife and five kids living in that same home. Okay. So um, let's backtrack for a second, if we can. Do we have like an idea or range, typically, how often a specific child will stay there? Is it going to be moving around a lot, or is it going to be for maybe a week or two? I'm trying to pay attention to all the details, but I wasn't there for the startup of the foundation or anything. Well, it, it sounds like they're going to be staying there, getting a bath, getting clothing, living their life like a normal child. They're trying to give the child as much normalcy as would be if a family of five children lived there. Okay, and so, the, and the child will be there for weeks, two months, or? She said probably maximum of two weeks. And then it'll be 